All right, just got out of work. Time to make our way to South Texas Comic Con. Let's, let's do this. All right, so we're here at the convention center. Doesn't look like there's much of anything going on. Oh shit, just gotta find parking. Now to find parking, because apparently everyone in their Thea is freaking handicapped. Alright, found parking finally. Alright, let's get in and we'll see what this is all about. Okay, well, right now let's take this game inside to get it signed. Alright, we can our way inside. Signature down. Whatever these are. Hello. Super Nintendo.
does it for day one. I'm gonna go home and see what's in the uh, VIP bag. South Texas Comic Con. I don't remember where I parked. Okay, nothing much going on on a Friday because it's kind of like the the least busiest day of the the bunch. But I did get this signed my Final Fantasy VII Rebirth signed by the voice actress that does Yuffie and luckily she did cards so that was pretty cool so like I said nothing much really going on so we're just gonna we're gonna come back tomorrow and on Sunday and then that's it also the VIP bag in here I'll go through it when I get home I'll show you guys what's in it Going into day two. Any of them, I guess. Why is he? He's everywhere. Why are there so many of these? <laughs> There's so many rocks. <laughs> he's everywhere. He's everywhere in movies and he's everywhere here. Where are we even going? Nerf battlefield. I don't know. Why are there more rocks?
last baby shower. Yeah, uh, what else is going on with me? Uh, I'm getting older, getting a lot older now. Uh, South Texas Comic Con is now 10 years old. Hospitality, everybody's really nice. On the valley, you get a taco, a lap dance, and a pound of weed all in the same building. <laughs> I went to Mexico for the first time on Thursday. I went to Progresso. Y'all mess with Progresso? <laughs> that don't even sound like a town. Sound like something you ordered from Starbucks? <laughs> Can I get two progressos and a latte, please? Government job with like high security clearance. I was like, I get the math now. Makes a lot of sense. You also find a lot of very deviant artwork. Good for you guys, huh? Uh, speaking of deviants, I did start watching a lot more cartoons and things like that. I started old school, uh, Studio Ghibli and old school Disney movies. Uh, Ghibli films, I've noticed, uh, they're still, and I'm not sure what's going on in Japan, but it's always like, you know, we're going to abandon our little girl and go eat without her. That seems, that's a punishment in the valley. And then, <laughs> and then the other one was like, the guy has like a heart problem and his mom's just like, fuck it, go play with this random lady. Play with the little people. <sighs> could be worse. It could be Disney movies. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> trying to remember what Disney movies happen. The villains in Disney movies aren't great either. I know it's for children, but like I'm trying to think like Cruella Deville from like 101 Dalm Dalmatians. Like her whole thing is she's rich, right? And she wants a fur coat. I was like, she's not very smart. <laughs> like puppies is a terrible way to do that. Just get like three full-grown Dalmatians, you have a whole coat. And also, she's rich. You can just, like, pay people to, like, pretend to be good people and get a puppy. Like, that seems... She's not a, she's not a really good representation of a rich person. Peace. I go crazy. Yeah. My wife actually got me into Legos. She thought switching from video games to Legos would make me less angrier. She was wrong. I do just as much cussing. Not at her. At the Legos. <laughs> Just in case that's wrong, man. You know what's funny about Mercedes? Is Mercedes is named after the one thing in that town that nobody can afford, you know? <laughs> and then if you do find a Mercedes somewhere, Mercedes is probably burnt up in a field somewhere, you know? <laughs> Just how we get down. Yes, what is it? 
Sorry. Cracker Barrel for lunch. I can't even see that shit. No Air Force, I guess. Lunch and dinner. That's what I'm gonna want. So I only actually only got three things signed my whole time there at South Texas Comic Con. But the first thing I did on Friday was I met Susie Young, who does the voice of Yuffie in the Final Fantasy Rebirth video game. And the little download content, whatever it is, for the Final Fantasy remake. But yeah, Yuffie. And the second thing I got was, uh, what's his name? Carrie Elwes, I believe that's what his name is. Uh, the one that plays Jonas in Twister, and you know, he plays Dr. Gordon in Saw, and he's in The Princess Bride. But that guy was actually pretty cool, so I actually was able to take my mom through the VIP line to get this one. So I was going to get my Saw movie signed, but I was like, you know what, let's just get this Twister movie signed. So, yeah. Okay, I got this shirt for my niece. This is Boo Sheet. There's two Funkos here for my niece. And then the third thing I got was the uh, autograph from Vincent D'Onofrio. I guess that's how you say his name. But uh, I was looking for a Kingpin Funko. And the only one you can find now is the one from the Echo series. And it's kind of funny because when I took this to him, he had no idea this Funko had ever come out. So... When he saw it, he was like, oh, when did this come out? So, the guy was actually pretty cool, too. I didn't, uh, I don't know, I thought that, I expected this guy to be kind of rude or something, but no, this guy was pretty awesome to talk to. He actually talked to you for a little bit, so that was cool. So, here's one of the things my parents got. Uh, Efren Ramirez was there, the one that plays Pedro in Napoleon Dynamite. So, I don't know if they actually had uh, Funkos for that line. So there was these, uh, the custom ones that he had at his table, I guess, and you can pay for those. So, let me see. What he oh, he signed the side of it. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. And then this dude had a crazy huge line, like, like his was, like, even the biggest stars there, like, his was, like, <laughs> crazy long. But, uh, I skipped out on his line because I had already met him back in 2013, so. But my parents went through the line and actually got this Funko signed and they actually had general admission but I don't know what happened but when they uh, someone working there found out my dad was a veteran they actually let him go through the VIP line which was actually pretty cool and then my dad actually went to Sam De La Rosa's line who is the guy that did the 
Whoa, that was weird. But uh, the guy that did the um, the comic book here cover for Venom, and I told my dad, I was like, hey, you've got the Funko of that. So, And he actually paid for not only the autograph, but uh, a little sketch of Venom right here that's on the thing. So that's actually kind of cool. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to show is this thing my dad got for my uncle. Uh, this is actually his birthday present, so that's basically everything we got there. Um, I'm actually going to head to the Comic-Con in San Antonio in June, and that one's supposed to have some really big stars, so we'll see how that one goes, and hopefully I can vlog that one.